Hello and welcome to a new guitar review. This time I have here a guitar that is not mine. It's what it was sent by an user or viewer of my YouTube channel to adjust it and to explain how the Evertune bridge works and how to adjust it. Okay, this is an LTD SH7 Evertune model. This is the signature model from Brian Welch of Korn, more known as Head. Yep, and this is a very good guitar, the Korean, Korean made. And I'm going to talk about the basic specifications of this one. Okay, here we have a solid body made of basswood or wood, I don't know how to spell it correctly. Basswood is a lightweight, supposed to be a lightweight, and very resonant um, tone boot that allows uh, to bring the characteristics of the pickups to the amplifier without affecting too much to the original sound of the pickups. So that is why it has been very used by um, certain manufacturers because it is cheap but it's also very good for mach machining yep okay now we have here over the basswood body a top boot made of flame maple i don't know if you can see the flame but it's very beautiful here yep. unfinished in purple with a um, high gloss finish all over the body. The neck. This is a neck through guitar made of three pieces of maple. Yeah. Here we we see the neck through and this neck is not high gloss finish but instead of it you see it is satin very soft satin. Continuing, here we have the Blute, the S ESP logo, Sir, Sir Heldley signature, the Korean, I don't know how to name it, the Korean um, marks with the um, serial number stamped. <clears throat> Here we have LTD locking tuners, that works very well, by the way. On the front, we have the LTD logo. We have a um, matching headstock, also made of flame purple, flame maple purp in purple finish. Plastic truss rod nut with the model engraved on it. And we, ha we have here a molded nut. It's made of plastic, but very good done. No roughness here. Okay, um, continuing, we have um, Makassar Ebony fretboard. The Makassar Ebony, despite of being Ebony, it's not as bright as Black Ebony or um, a Pale Moon Ebony. Instead of it, it's darker, so the notes um, doesn't pop as much as with um, Black Ebony. So it contrasts very well with the maple top and the basswood body. The, over the fretboard we have 24 nickel silver frets on a extra jumbo size I think. And on the bot on the top part of the fretboard we have the markers made of plastic but very cool I think this is one of the um, best design on markers that we can uh, find on a guitar because they are not in the middle of the fretboard which I don't like and they are very subtle and very uh, smart, elegant, how do you name it. All over the neck and the headstock we can find a plastic white binding or white plastic binding, binding as you prefer with luminlay dots. <clears throat> um, 
I didn't say that the scale length is 25.5 inches. Here we have a pair of Fishman Fluence modern pickups, active by the way, over a plastic rings. Yeah, they are not direct mounting. Here a black F model Evertune bridge. F is because it is wide spacing. The regular spacing um, <coughs> bridge is not as wide as, as this one. Next we have a volume knob, a tone knob which is also push-pull. Why does this push-pull work for? Well, uh, this push pull is for in the down position to have active uh, pickups <clears throat> and on the upper position to have those pickups in passive mode. Okay, this one is the pickup selector in this position. We have bridge in the middle position, both pickups, and on the top position we have the neck pickup. Over here we have the input jack, non recessed with metal plate. Here is the strap, the pin strap, and the other pin strap is on the tip of the horn. And on the back of the guitar we find the battery cover, the electronics cover, and the Evertune bridge cover, which is not <coughs> sorry recessed on the body. I never seen um, a recessed cover for the Evertune bridge on any guitar. Um, the neck profile is a thin U, very cool. Uh, it's very um, uh, very well designed, so it's not wide, not uh, very um, very thick, so it's very comfortable to play and allows you to put any kind of shorts and the, uh, your thumb is not um, having pain on it while doing strange shorts or augmented shorts. Uh, the weight of this guitar is 4 kilos and 40 grams, which is the best disadvantage of this guitar, the weight. Despite of the uh, body being um, made of basswood, and basswood is a lightweight uh, turned wood, the guitar to accommodate the Evertune needs to be very thick. So instead of making it flat guitar, they did it carved guitar. So this adds so much weight to the guitar. So uh, if you are playing on your feet for more than an hour, your back is gonna be um, maybe not pain, but you will feel uh, you will feel tired when you're playing very long time this guitar. And this is my only complaint about this guitar. Apart from that, I found that this is a very very good instrument. I have only one not complain, not fold, it's um, a thing that I don't like very much, but it's not a complaint. I will talk about it later, it's about the bridge. Okay, um, I have I have had in the past uh, a lot of ESP and LTD guitars in previous years and never, never had an LTD that was as well built as this one is. The details are perfect on this one. I couldn't find any flow on the um, on the finish or on the craftsmanship. The first thing I used to uh, look to is the fretboard, uh, the fret ends. Sorry, here they are not rounded. They are cute, simply cute, but with the binding 
you won't feel any kind of run roughness here. It's very soft. You can play very nice all on the fretboard. Even on this part of the fretboard. Because when you are um, finishing the frets, having in mind that this is neck through, this is the, me uh, the most difficult part to uh, work on the frets. And usually on the cheap or um, maybe we can we call uh, low end or mid end guitars this part of the fretboard and this one are normally or have normally uh, roughness on the fret ends but it, this is not the case this is perfectly done and i can't feel any difference between this part and this part the only difference is the neck finish because this part is gloss and this part is satin why is um, why many guitars nowadays have satin uh, necks because it is more comfortable to play it's very soft very natural so your fingers can run faster than if you have um, a high gloss finish on the neck you can do if you have one um, one high gloss finish with a uh, neck through um, neck <laughs> sorry and the neck is satin you can do this put your finger all along the the, um, the neck run it and as soon as you get into the high gloss your finger will stop because it doesn't run as, as fast as on the satin necks. That's why I made my own satin to my some of my guitars and to to others that uh, that ask me to do to to theirs. And satin is very nice. In this case, we have here a V kind of shape on the um, on the neck to body joint. So. This part is gloss, this part is satin, and on the top, this part is gloss, and this part is satin. That's normal. Apart from that, um, when I received the guitar, it was very bad setup. Uh, it had a very, a very high action on all over, all over the strings. Uh, I did demo with that setup only I tuned it correctly but it was not um, perfectly intonated so you will notice in the demo that on the high part of the fretboard it's not perfectly intonated okay? that's because uh, the user did, uh, didn't know how to uh, adjust the guitar and I prefer to make the demo with all strings instead of new strings of new setup in order to um, preserve the brightness of the strings for that user and not for me and to make the demo. Uh, say that I will I will say now that with the new strings and the new setup the action is very very good. On this particular guitar, this is no this is setup on drop A. So this is a 60, uh, 60 um, thickness, thick uh, thickness string. Sorry for my bad English. I'm not English native. And the action on the 12th fret it's about 1.7 millimeters. I can drop or I can lower it more but I prefer to have it higher action on the 7th string to um, to make the string vibrate freely and not to bass very much on the lower swings this changes a lot the strings are very very close to the frets more even that many guitars many high end guitars i have it's very good done even though that the neck is dead flat i try to adjust all my guitars with a dead flat neck and then i i change the action 
the, um, the intonation and if everything is correct then I um, give some relief to the neck but on this guitar which is that flat I had no intention to um, to give any kind of relief because it sounds good and it plays very good with with this no relief neck. Uh, what else to say? So well, it's very it plays very well with I think it's one of the best actions I could ever had on any guitar. Even though, as I said, this is not a very expensive guitar. In Europe, you can find it for about 1,400 euros plus or less. So it's not very expensive. Also not cheap, but not very expensive. And for that price, it's a very, very good guitar. It's probably done on the future times. I will buy one for myself because I love the neck it's very nice it's not very thick I have we have here uh, 50 millimeters uh, width on the on the nut so it's not very very uh, wide very very wide very width um, sorry very wide neck also plays very good and it has two features nice to me. This one is the Fishman Fluence and the Everton Bridge. Uh, Fishman Fluence, well, I never tried Fishman. Okay, I listened uh, to a lot of demos, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, I read a lot of opinions about them, but never tried set. So, um, if you never try a pickup or a guitar, you can't really know what you are going to uh, to find because the uh, taste of the other people is not the same as yours. And I'm not um, an active pickups guy. I prefer passive. I had a lot of EMGs and Duncan blackouts in the past, and I get rid of them because. I prefer the warm tone that a passive pickups can deliver instead of the active ones and also because the high end of the optic pickups is not made for me. This Fisman Fluence, despite of being active pickups, they sound very natural, not as warm as the passive pickups, but very close to them. The only, um, my only appointment to uh, to these pickups is the high end that is still show, so sharp or so brittle for me. Nothing that you can't change with the tone or EQing your amp, but your uh, the active um, feel of older EMGs is not here. This is the, they are very more natural than old EMGs like EMG eighty one or EMG eighty five. And also they have a very cool feature that with this push pull you can instead of have the high attack of the um, of the active pickups you can put it on a passive mode so um, they are more warm still have a lot of high end that I don't like very much but it's more warm overall on the bass on the bass frequencies and the other cool feature of this guitar is the Evertune bridge you may know the Evertune and how this this bridge works. It allows you to maintain a note or um, a tone for a very long time, not forever. You can you need to adjust the t your tuning uh, like once a month, once uh, like two months, but 
for example, on a recording session, you can track all your your guitars without needing to internet or internet no sorry to tune your guitar every time you play and if you play harder on one part or you press harder the string the do, the note won't change this is a very good advantage because the Everton has a very cool feature all the saddles here are completely independent so you can adjust adjust the hardness or the sensibility of one saddle different to another and for example you can allow vibrators on the um, solo in the swings the, for the first three swings and for the rhythms ones you can't you can block the uh, tremolos the tremolos of the vibrators okay and how can we adjust this bridge? Okay, there are many um, videos on YouTube that explain how to adjust the bridge. I will only give you some tips that is not covered on most of the of that videos. The Everton bridge can be adjusted with a 2.5 millimeters X key or X range. It's normally supplied with the guitar is like this, an X key with an eight or infinity symbol on this part. But for this video, I will use a regular size or 2.5 size Allen key Allen wrench. Why? Because if you don't have the original. X key you can buy one on any any hardware store and they are very cheap so don't don't panic if you don't have the original X key and this bridge has three points of adjustment the first one is here on the saddle here we adjust the our tuning yeah the second one is in the upper part here we adjust the action of the string and the third part is here on the back here what we adjust the inclination yeah and it's very simple first you adjust your turning if you turn the x key to my face in this um not to my face but i don't know if you call it clockwise or anti-clockwise if you turn this key in this direction you will lower the note if you turn in the opposite you will up the tone so uh you need obviously a turner and my tip is do not turn your key more than half a turn every time when you uh, when you rotate the x key plug the string check the note and check if you are in zone 2 of the guitar which is, what is the zone 2 well when you put in a string on the guitar and start to wrap on the on the tuners it is on zone 1 which is uh, the zone that is changing constantly the tone the tune the tuning of your guitar until you reach a zone that your tuning is constant this is the zone 2 if you continue moving your tuning pack you will reach the zone three. The zone three, it's it is the zone where um, your tuning rises again, and there's a lot of risk to break the string. So when you reach the zone zone three, just and turn the um, turning pack um, in the opposite direction to lower the tuning and back to zone two. So. Every time 
you tune your guitar because the tuning is made on the saddles don't do more than half a turn until you check if you are in sound tune the same goes for the action and for intonation intonation is the hardest part of the um, adjustment of this bit because it's very um, slow to uh, adjust the saddle movements and well that's all for now thank you for watching and hope you like the demo i have to, to i try to cover the active mode the passive mode of these pickups thank you